Hello everybody, welcome back to Planet X News. It is May 16th, 2017. One of my subscribers sent me an article this morning dated back on June 11th, 2016. And this is coming out of Sci News, Science News. And the headline reads, Scientists find evidence of water in infrared spectrum of nearby brown dwarf. It goes on to say astronomers have succeeded in obtaining an infrared spectrum of the recently discovered brown dwarf WISE 0855, providing details of the object's composition and chemistry. Among the findings is strong evidence for the existence of clouds of water or water ice. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this artist's rendition, and if you, if you read right here, it says, this artist's conception shows the brown dwarf Wise 0855, the coldest known brown dwarf. Image credit, NASA, the JPL, Caltech, Penn State University. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this artist's rendition or uh, conception, well, that looks pretty much like the object that I photographed and captured on May 10th and May 14th of 2017. Further down in this article, it states at a distance of about 7.2 light years away from Earth, WISE 0855 is the fourth closest system to us after Alpha Centauri AB, Proxima Centauri, or Centauri, excuse me, Bernard's star, and WISE 1049-5319. This was discovered in 2014 by a Penn State University astronomer by the name of Kevin Pluman. What I find very hard to believe, ladies and gentlemen, and, I, and I, I always do find this very hard to believe, is that we are able to see objects, even though if this is done uh, by this massive WISE space telescope. So they're able to see an object 7.2 light years away and it just so happens to look similar to the object that I photographed twice. Is this some type of predictive programming? That's what I would like to know. I find it very hard to believe that we can't find a cure for cancer but yet we can see an object 7.2 light years away. I mean, that distance is just absolutely incredible, off the chart. But yet you can detect water and ice on an object 7.2 light years away. And this object looks very similar to the object that I photographed. I will leave a link to this short article in case you want to read it. Really not much to it. Talks about basically how they were able to photograph this object that they were able to possibly detect water and ice at 7.2 light years away. absolutely incredible and then if you look over here we have another article one of the nearest brown dwarfs is actually a free-floating giant planet astronomers say so there are many many articles pertaining to our subject matter and it makes you wonder it makes you wonder deeply about these brown dwarfs. 
They compare this planet, and that's what it is. That's what I'm assuming that this would be. They compare this to Jupiter. If you read further down in the article, they compare all of these brown dwarves. And I'm not referring to the brown dwarf star. I'm just referring to the brown dwarf, the substellar object. And they compare all of these to Jupiter. And the photographs that I took, they look similar to Jupiter with the stripes, which we would probably consider that to be weather patterns uh, similar to Jupiter. Astronomers and scientists have claimed that Jupiter is a failed star. When I look at Jupiter and I've studied Jupiter, to me, Jupiter is a solar system with a lot of planets orbiting that failed star. So why would it be impossible for another object, another substellar object like Jupiter to have entered our solar system? Is it impossible? No, it is not. But yet, everyone wants you to believe that it is impossible. This cannot be happening. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the fact of the matter is, where would this artist dream up his conception of this object? It seems to me that NASA, the JPL, Caltech, this whole science community, they seem to employ a lot of people that have artistry talents because a lot of what they develop looks very similar to what we're finding. So the fact of the matter is predictive programming, putting this type of article out in the, uh, the media on July 11th, 2016, Headline, scientists find evidence of water in infrared spectrum of nearby brown dwarf. Again, I find it very hard to believe that they can see something 7.2 light years away and detect water. I don't care how good your science is. That seems just absolutely extreme to me, but yet no one would believe that we would have an object like this infiltrating our solar system. Is it hard to believe that our solar system would never, ever, ever have other objects roaming into our beautiful solar system? Yes, we have comets. We have asteroids, we have meteors, but what? We are the only solar system in the entire galaxy and universe that would never ever have a brown dwarf or brown dwarf star or other planetary objects or substellar objects roaming into our solar system. What, that is an impossibility? No, ladies and gentlemen, it is not an impossibility. And yes, there are people out there that want you to think that, that we have this little virgin solar system that is never ever disturbed by other substellar objects. It's an impossibility. It cannot happen. But yet, ladies and gentlemen, they never ever come up with any proof or evidence that this cannot happen. They simply want you to take their word for it. Well, the bottom line is, I don't believe these people 
And I certainly don't believe that they were able to detect water and ice on an object that is 7.2 light years away. I didn't even want to get into calculating what 7.2 light years away equals in miles because it's ridiculous. It's a ridiculous figure. And as I've said, we can't find a cure for cancer, but we can see a big blue ball 7.2 light years away. We can detect ice and water on that object. And this object is said to be larger than Jupiter. Amazing. I'm going to show you additional photographs that I took and you can compare them to what this NASA artist developed for this article. Just absolutely amazing. And once again, they do not want you to believe that these objects could possibly be in our solar system. Fact of the matter, they are. And ladies and gentlemen, just as a quick reminder, stay updated, stay informed, and stay tuned. I'd also like to take this opportunity to introduce you to one of my affiliates, Food for Liberty. If you are interested in emergency prepping supplies, you can visit Food for Liberty by clicking on the link in the description box. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Nibiru channel and Planet X News for all of your updates. And ladies and gentlemen, it's a great idea to share our videos with your friends and family members on Facebook and Twitter. If you'd like to support Planet X News, you can visit the PayPal link in the description box under the video and visit our website at www.nibiruplanetx2016.com. Thank you for watching.